Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but my mommy calls me Bumpity Boo, and I guess you should call me that too. People always tell me that it's a silly and ridiculous name, but I think it's nice, and it fits me very well. Well, anyways, I start new, a new school tomorrow, and I'm really scared because I never really talk to people except people I know for a long time, practically my whole life, or a minimum of 12.5 years. That's why I talk to my computer like this, because it knows me, and I know it, and it's not a new person, so I can feel comfortable with it and tell it secrets and things like that. I think it's pretty nice. My mommy always tells me that I could do the same things with a real person if I got made friends, but I don't really understand how to do that. What do I just do? Go up to someone and say, hello, I'm Bumpity Boo. That doesn't really make sense. So instead of doing that, I just talk to my computer. The point is, though, that I am really nervous for school. So to make me less nervous, I memorized my schedule and I've already packed my backpack with all stuff for each class and it's in order. I guess I'll have a locker, but I think I'll carry around my backpack because it's organized and in order. Like my computer. I have a very complex folder system on my computer. There are no loose files. All of them are in folders. Most of them are in at least two or three, sometimes even up to 15 layers of folders. For example, I have a Jeremy folder, and in that I have a 2007 folder, and then in that I have a fo folders for school, music, movies, and pictures. If I wanted to find my class schedule for my new school, I'd go into Jeremy, then 2007, then school, then general information, then scheduling and events, then schedules, then click on my class schedule. Some people say that this is a stupid waste of time, but I believe that it is very critical to my organization, comfort, and sense of self. Anyways, I'm just rambling, and I do that when I'm nervous. I'll talk to you, dear computer, after my first day of school. Goodbye. Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. So, I've always loved classic poets such as Keach and Colbridge. Um, and also, my mommy was a professional dancer until recently, and she inspired me to begin interpretive dance lessons when I was five. Today, I will combine my two loves to make this masterpiece. I hope you enjoy. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, how I love the rising sun. Watching it is really fun. Its color bleeding through the sky makes me incapable of suppressing the sigh. The clouds become purple and red as I stare out from my bed. It's light entering my window, preventing me from feeling low. Seeing your light is really grand, like playing a French horn in my bandstand. No wonder the elves love you dearly. I wish I could hold you much more nearly. But you are a burning ball of fire, and you would surely burn my attire. If closer to your warmth, I would have to pay a toll. But even from a great distance, it permeates my soul. We try to warm ourselves by burning coal, but sitting in your lights works much better. It's kind of like wearing a magic sweater, knitted by the elves, though none of those are on my shelves. Anyway, back to the sun, and even when the day is done, and you are leaving the evening sky, your warmth remains so we don't die. And really, I don't want to lie, but it's hard to say goodbye to the beautiful sun. Oh, oh, mm, 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 mm. Good afternoon. Something amazing happened to me today at school. I opened up my lunchbox just like a normal day, and I looked inside, and something great was there. Normally, my mommy packs me a fruit and a veggie, a sandwich, and then two cookies. Today, she packed me three cookies. I was so excited that I let out a scream of joy, and everyone in the cafeteria turned and looked at me. I just held up the bag and pointed at it like this. And they did not get what was so great about this. Not only were these good cookies they're my favorite the EL fudge ones that have the elves in them and they also have a quote on the back so not only did I get to get one more great tasting thing I also got to read another elf quote it was great when I got home I had to thank my mom a ton for packing me three cookies instead of only two thanks bye hello it's me Jeremy Frederick Wilson again but you can still call me bumpity boo 
The first week of school is over. Woof. Thank goodness. And now it's Labor Day weekend. My mommy decided that we will go to the beach this weekend. I despise the beach. Well, despise is probably too strong of a word, but I strongly dislike it. But I love my mommy, so I'm going for her. Here are several reasons I do not like the beach, organized into a list for clarity's sake and to increase the understanding of my listeners. 1. The sand. It gets between my toes and my, and my fingers, and in my sandwiches, it gets it goes everywhere, and it's very uncom and it's a very uncomfortable feeling. Therefore, my mommy lays down a path of newspaper on the sand for me to walk on, so I do not get any sand in between my toes. And once I get onto the blanket, I stay there all day. Once there's a trace of sand on the blanket, I stand up onto the newspaper again and shake off the blanket so that there is no sand. Number two, sunburns. I cannot stand them. Therefore, I must apply SPF 50 sunscreen every 25 minutes and wear zinc oxide on my face and remain under the umbrella all day. Number three, swimsuits. People always wear these indiscreet swimsuits that are in style currently. Everyone is showing off so much skin and that contributes to the likelihood of development of melanoma. And also, it's very awkward experience having all these half-naked people running around you. In conclusion, I am not very fond of the beach that I am going in a few minutes. Oh well, it will be over quick enough. And to keep me occupied, my mommy has allowed me to care bring my computer. Goodbye for now. Enjoy your long weekend. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. I need to tell you about this disturbing trend I saw at the beach over the weekend. All these people were just jumping into the water, frolicking and playing in the foamy gray-blue waves. A beautiful uh, summer image, I'm sure. But what they did seem to be ignoring was the fact that they were putting themselves in harm's way, endangering themselves for the sake of what? A few minutes in the water? Geez, don't they know that some scientists speculate because of global warming and overfishing, sharks are having more and more trouble finding food, therefore coming closer to the shore and demonstrating more aggressive tendencies? By getting into the ocean at a time like this, they are not ta they are taking their lives out of their hands and putting them into the jaws of a shark. It's despicable. I personally believe there should be a law against this type of reckless behavior. Please, listeners, law or no law, don't risk your lives. Find a local saltwater pool and swim in that instead. Save yourselves from this meaningless, painful death. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. I know I have not been vlogging lately, but I assure you, it is because of a good reason. I, of course, am very busy with my schoolwork, especially my paper for English class, which is about elves in the society. It's about 20 pages long. Obviously, I need to do some extra research on it, and also, I need to edit it a little because I feel that my comma usage has been rather excessive. Also, my mommy and I have been very busy taking several types of lessons. For example, interpretive dancing, Bikram yoga, and aromatherapy. So we have often have been getting home at around 8 p.m., and me and my mommy would sit down for a nice cup of tea and a home-cooked meal. And then that leaves just enough time for me to finish up my homework and hit the sack by around 10.30 p.m. Yes, I know it's very late, but it had to be pushed back because of my numerous activities. Now you're probably wa wondering why I'm in hiding under this umbrella the entire vlog. Well, while I was gone, I have been receiving a lot of feedback with suggestions on how I should make some new friends. And I will admit, the friend situation has gotten rather dire. So I'm taking some of your advice, and today I will be mess up my hair a little. So now I will reveal my new look, my new style. I hope you like it, and I hope it makes me look, as kids in my grade would say, a little more hot. Well, here it is.
I need you guys to give me a little feedback on this in the comments section. Because I'm not going to actually try it out in front of kids my age until you guys tell me that, that you like it. And also, a girl in my class is having a big party on Friday and everyone in the grid is invited. That means that she's inviting me. And I really tried want to try out my new look for the party. So, tell me what you think. Bye. Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Well, this is the first time that I really wanted to come out and talk about the party. It was a disaster. All these people were really excited about going, so I thought I should be too. I even made my mommy buy me these new pants, which really looked nice on me. They gave me this nice, tight feeling, and I really liked them. So I wore, was wearing these pants that my mommy had bought me to the party, and I went to the party, saw all these kids bumping and grinding, which is, I find very disrespectful, and I don't like it. So I went downstairs to see if I could pick up a game of chess or anything like that with a kid. But nobody was down there. All of a sudden, a, a group of the cool kids came downstairs. And they came up to me and they didn't really say anything. I heard one of them sneaking behind me, but I didn't care to look. And then all of a sudden, my pants were down around my ankles. And they all were laughing and cracking up and I didn't think it was funny at all. I just started crying and I ran upstairs and sat in the corner next to the chaperone. I called my mommy and she picked me up. I told her what happened and she said we should complain to the principal. But then I knew that if we did, more kids would just throw me into lockers and beat me up. And I don't want that to happen. Well, that's all I have to say about the party. Goodbye. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Well, today's vlog, I will be talking about Halloween. I love Halloween. This year, I was dressed up as an elf. Well, I went to school dressed up as an elf, and lots of kids made fun of me just because that I was dressed up as an elf. They took off my ears and fooled around with them and then gave them back. And I found it very disrespectful to me, my mommy, and the entire elfish race. I cannot believe the nerve on some of these kids these days. Well, when I got home, my mommy touched up my makeup and then realigned my ears so they were centered. And then we went trick-or-treating. My mommy only allows me to go trick-or-treating during the daylight because, number one, I am scared of the dark, and number two, it, ha it lowers the chances that you will be hit by an automobile or attacked by a mean person. Still, my mommy will walk me up to every doorstep just in case of a bully hiding in the bushes that would attack me. When we got home, my mommy checked for any indentations, perforations or any other signs that the candy had been tampered with. We immediately put these pieces in a plastic bag and threw them into a dumpster. Now I will only be eating one piece of candy per month, per day for the next th six to eight months. Thank gosh for my mommy's cautious nature. Goodbye. Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Well, for the past week, I've been at my Pop Pops and Grammy's house. We had a real ball. My mommy and I always go up there for Thanksgiving, and it is always as fun. This year, we hang, hung around the fire and read lots of books. Before the Thanksgiving feast, I was honored to say the prayer. In this prayer, I had to I wanted to make sure that I included all faiths and all major religions. Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and the creator Corilan. Now, Corilan is the creator of 
the Elven religion. And this is very important for me to mention because this is the religion that I believe in. Uh, after the feast, which had very good turkey, we basically hung around the house for the for the weekend. We read lots of books, and me and my pop pop played chess. Now, me and my pop pop always played chess, and this year we played it more than ever. My pop pop's in, I would say, three chess leagues, and this year he convinced me to play in a chess league. This is going to be very fun because. I would say that I have a chance to win the league because chess is my favorite sport. Now, when I got home last night, my mommy made me go straight to bed because it was very late, and I did. But when I woke up in this morning, I looked at the clock and it was 10.45. I had missed the first couple of hours of school. I ran downstairs and told my mom, that she had not woken me up. She said that she knew and she wanted me to sleep in. This created a real problem. I had had perfect attendance since first grade and I wanted another blue ribbon for perfect attendance. Now I really got in my, a fight with my mommy but now we resolved it and I still love her. She is going to send a note to the principal of my school to say that I should be excused because I got home very late last night. And I'm still, and then she's going to mention that I should still be in the running for perfect attendance. Well, my mommy is about to come in and tuck me in and then read me another chapter of The Hobbit. So, I have to go. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. My Christmas is going great so far. Of course, I don't believe in Christmas because I, really, I follow elven traditions, but my Grammy is very religious and she celebrates Christmas. And she's so special to me, I celebrate it just for her. Also, as when my mommy was growing up, she celebrated it too. She says it's lots of fun, and I agree with her. All the lights and festivals. It surely is one of the best times of the year best times of the year. Well, the one thing I hate about Christmas is how this Santa has elves working for him. Santa may be real, but he does not have elves working for him. Elves are a proud race and would not be forced to work for anyone as a slave, just monotonously making toys for him all year long. Santa does not have elves. I am sick and tired of kids coming up to me and talking about how the elves come around the world and pick up this and make toys for Santa all year long. No! Santa does not have elves. Listeners and viewers, I hope you feel my pain when I hear this. And also, I hope that you know that Santa does not have elves working for him. Phew! I am glad I got that out of my system. End of rant. It, I have to be happy today, because it's one of the happiest days. Well, I'm going to my Grammy and Pop Pop's house soon, and I am uber excited. I really want to play my favorite sport, chess, with Pop Pop. Plus, we open their presents at their house. I had two things I really wanted for Christmas this year. One, one is, um, it's called Elves in Anglo-Saxon England. Matters of belief, health, gender, and identity. 
check it out on Amazon. It seems like an amazing read. Also, a TI-83 calculator. This entire year I've been scraping by on a TI scientific calculator. But I really want a TI-83 calculator so I can begin graphing, learning, uh, working with its graphing capabilities, regression equations, and also it has tons of other amazing things that not many other calculators have to offer. I got my mommy a very special gift. It is an aromatherapy box set. It has all of this stuff in it that she loves and she and she uses it her aromatherapy course like lavender. Yum. It just is great. And also I wrapped it in this or I put it in this special box that's all green. And then on top of it I tied a special green bow, which is beautiful. I hope, and I think, and I hope that my mommy loves it. Because she's a very special mommy. And she deserves a very special gift on this day. Well, anyway, I have to go put on some fancy clothes for my Grammy and Pop Pops house. Bye everyone, and Merry Christmas! Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. I've been very nervous all day because somebody in my grade has told me that all the cool kids are going to have a big drinking party to celebrate the New Year's. They are all planning on stealing beers from their parents' fridges and then sneaking into one kid's house and get and get drunk in the basement. Now I am absolutely outraged by this reckless behavior. Just horrified. It's just so terrible. That is illegal and immoral. Plus they'll probably get caught. In fact, I hope they get caught because then they'll learn their lesson and never partake in this illegal, immoral craziness again. William Shakespeare once said through the character, through the words from his character Cassio from the timeless play Othello, oh that man should put an enemy in his mouth to steal away his brains. I must agree with Mr. Shakespeare. I cannot understand the appeal of alcoholic beverages, especially for young children. I mean, we're only in 8th grade. 8th grade? Come on, people. This behavior disgusts me. But I suppose there is nothing I can do. If I tell on them, they'll all get in trouble, and they, prob and they might not even have the party anyway. But if I just sit here and do nothing and watch them get drunk and get in trouble, I would just be that weak bystander with no guts. So I'm stuck in a real pickle. What should I do? Tell on them? Or wait and see what happens? But right now I can't convince myself to do anything. So I'm just hoping that no one gets hurt. Bye guys. Happy New Year. Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. It's 2008, the start of a new year. Woohoo! I love the start of the new year. I feel so fresh and alive. So much opportunity for change and for joy and wonderfulness. I hope 2008 is a great year. For the new year, I'm going to my Auntie Karen's and Uncle Robert's. It should be a great time playing with the cousins and eating a nice home-cooked meal. Good food and good family. The best way to start a new year, in my opinion. Well, I hope you all have the best year of your life, and, and the fresh start leads to many great things. Also, I hope you all keep your resolutions. That's always a challenge. This year, my resolutions are... 1. Reorganize my computer filing system. I got a little bit busy with school and there are some stray files 
and some files are also a little bit too cluttered. So I want to fix that up a little. Also, last night at 12.01, I was able to make a new file. Under Jeremy, it used to only be 2007. Now under Jeremy, there's 2007 and 2008. It was so fun. Number two, practice French horn more often. In fact, at least six hours a week. We got busy with the aromatherapy and yoga and all. So I was only getting two to three hours of solid practice each week. So I really need to pra bump up my practice time. Number three, be a better son to my wonderful mommy. I have a great mommy, and I want to help her out a little bit more. You know, help her with the dishes, the laundry, and remember to take out the garbage, that kind of stuff. Well, those are my resolutions. I wish you and your families a very, very happy new year. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. I must say, I am having a very, very enjoyable break. As I said, I wanted a TI-83 for Christmas. And I got it. Well, actually, I got a TI-83 Plus, which is an upgrade from the TI-83. How nice and considerate of my mommy to get me this upgrade. I also got a book that I didn't ask for, called The Atlas of the Middle Earth. Now... This book is based off of the Lord of the Rings, and my Auntie Karen, who bought me this, obviously didn't know that J.R.R. Tolkien did not always speak the truth. He was a fantasy writer. But I have been enj enjoying reading it over the break. I always keep a pencil in hand g and making lots of marks in the margins and to say what is straight truth, what is complete fiction, and what is, what as I call, stretch truth or exaggerated truth and what is completely new to me therefore unclassifiable it's really a riot great fun anyways break will be ending soon and I am very sad because it means that I'll be spending less quality time with my mommy but at the same time I'm very excited to get back to my history class which I really miss and my geometry class, which I really miss. Oh, and band. I miss that, too. Well, goodbye. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. I have some absolutely fantastic news. I have been invited to play the French horn in the middle school musical. I am so excited. The musical is called Annie Jr. and is pretty well known for having an, a fantastic French horn part. I'm sure Annie and Jim, the other two French horn players in the band, are super -de duper -de jealous. I feel kind of bad for them, but at the same time, I'm just too excited. And this encourages me to keep my New Year's resolution of practicing the French horn more. The band director gave me the music today and I have been sight reading it and listening to the soundtrack to make sure I'm getting it all right. With a whole new book of new music I am sure that I will be practicing six to seven and maybe even eight hours a week which is great. Oh boy oh boy oh boyzy I am so excited. The musical isn't until early March so I have plenty of time, but I know that the show will be upon us in no time, so I have to be ready. We are going to be the greatest pit in school history. Well, goodbye for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bump Buddy Boo. Today was the big day, the day of my dentist appointment, and I managed to keep the grand total of drum roll please zero cavities my meticulous tooth care really pays off the nurse has to use her scraping tool sparingly and she always says that I have very little plaque buildup and the big man himself 
The dentist always compliments me. It's just such a wonderful feeling walking out of there knowing that all your hard work paid off. What a relief. I am always very nervous the day before knowing that I might have a cavity. That would be such a shame seeing as I really do take good, of my, good care of my teeth. Let me explain. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth for 3.5 minutes. Then I use the tongue scraper to scrape any of the bacteria that I did not get from brushing out of my mouth. After that, I floss and then use Listerine. I also have a small tooth care kit in my locker and I always have floss in my lunch box. And I go to the bathroom and floss a after I am done eating lunch. But I have the tooth care kit in my locker for days when I eat something very sugary and something that seems to contain tooth staining ingredients. Then, of course, I will go into the locker room and brush my teeth and floss. When I get home, I repeat my morning activity. And then right before I go to bed, I will repeat it again. Anytime I eat any snacks during the day, I brush and floss my teeth after them. Well, I could make some improvements to my tooth care schedule, but for right now, since I have no cavities, I am very happy and I will keep it until I do get a cavity. Well, goodbye. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. Well, you might have been wondering why I haven't been vlogging recently. I have not made a vlog for three months and have not even signed on to YouTube for two months. I am flabbergasted that I lasted this long without a craving to vlog. But I just have been kept so busy by schoolwork and my weekly activities. I have had a couple of very challenging school projects, one being a long theoretical essay for English, which I scored an A- minus on and am still very disappointed in my week showing on this project. And also, my weekly activities have just been piling up on me. Of course, I continue to practice my French horn a couple of hours a night. I also have to attend my weekly Bikram yoga class and work on my interpretive dancing with my mommy, who used to be a professional until recently. And most importantly, I have to bond with my mommy so we can become better friends and companions. If my mommy does not want me to sign on to YouTube, I will not sign on to YouTube, and her expectations are me to finish all of my schoolwork and weekly chores or activities and then I can sign on to YouTube and vlog and I will listen to her orders and do this because I love my mommy and I would never do anything to hurt her I hope this clears up any confusion that this issue might have caused and explains why I have not been vlogging in such a long time I will hopefully be vlogging more in the future. Goodbye for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. Today, as my mommy and I were driving down the street in our Subaru Forester, when all of a sudden, what did I spy with my little eye? But a pile of litter. Not just one piece or two pieces, but a multitude of litter. Half-filled soda bottles, which children should not be drinking, by the way. It rots their teeth. Plastic grocery store bags, which we should not be using, by the way. We should be bringing reusable bags to the grocery store. And receipts and wrappers. It was despicable. Most of the time, a trash receptacle was within 20 to 30 steps of the litter. I believe that this could be a leading cause to childhood obesity. 
Think about it. If you litter 20 times a year, that would be an extra 600 steps that you would walk. And those 600 steps could be the difference between being skinny and being obese. It is also causing precious birds, baby birds with no ability to protect themselves, fluffy chipmunks, Komodo dragons, harbor seals, dolphins, penguins, iguanas, and maybe even elves to be put in harm's way. The problem in, of littering in my city has gotten so severe that I would not be surprised if the fine for this was risen to life in prison. I, if I was in the city legislator, I would vote for this, not vote against it. It would teach those litterers a valuable lesson. I may exaggerate, but my point stands. Onwards. So my mommy and I pulled over the car, stepped out cautiously, making sure we did not put ourselves in harm's way. And we collected this pile of atrocious trash and properly disposed of it. Good thing my mommy has latex gloves in her car, so I do not get any harmful chemicals, fungi, or toxin on my body. We got into the car once again, and we had m moved barely a mile when we saw another pile of litter. So we pulled over, and we repeated the process again. We repeated this process 12 times as we traversed the mere seven miles between school and the nearest Kmart. Please, listeners, do the responsible thing. Throw away your trash. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. Well, today I had an uber hard math test. Yikes, I'm afraid I messed up on two of the problems, and now I'm so nervous to get it back. I just hope I got over a 94, otherwise I would be very disappointed in myself. It was just so much harder than the rest of the math, class, math tests in that class. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I just hope I did okay. Yikesies, I don't want to ruin my superb grade in that class. Luckily, afterwards, I had a really great English class to cheer me up. We're reading the book Animal Farm, which is a great book, and I recommend it to every one of my viewers. And my teacher called on a boy to sing the first song in the book, which is called Beast of England. And the boy was singing it completely monotone. And I said, no, 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 that's not how you're supposed to sing it. It's supposed to be a song. It even tells you in the book that it's supposed to be a song. Well, of course, I raised my hand, because if I didn't, that would be very rude and very bad manners. So once the teacher called on me, I just stood up and began singing it how you're supposed to be singing it. <clears throat> beast of England, beast of Ireland, beast of every land and clime, hearken to Tidings of the golden future time. Sooner or later, the day is coming. Tyrant man shall be overthrown, and the fruitful fields of England shall be trod on beasts alone. Men shall vanish from our noses, and the harness from our back. With and spur shall rest forever. Crew whip shall no more crack. And I sang the whole song to the right tune, and everyone was laughing so hard. One girl even fell out of her chair 
and even the teacher was laughing. And at the end, they all clapped. It was great. Goodbye. Happy Mommy's Day. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bump Buddy Boo. Well, my Mommy's Day was marvelous. It was filled with love, joy, and happiness. It all started when I woke up at 5.30 a.m. and began slaving away at a scrumptious breakfast in bed for my mommy. The meal consisted of lightly toasted English muffins topped with a flaxseed oil spread and two poached eggs from free-ranged and vegetarian-fed hens and a pot of hot herbal tea with honey and lemon slices. My mommy was so pleased she just pinched my cheeks and gave me a huge bear hug. And she said, oh bumpity boy, I love you. Then we headed off to a Mommy's Day special Big Ram Yoga class where all of the mommies were presented with a small bouquet of wildflowers and, and incense. Then we headed off to a Mommy's Day luncheon with Grammy and Papa. At the luncheon, I gave Grammy a special photo book I have been compiling for the last couple of weeks. It shows photos of her children, my cousins, and me, Bumpity Boo, as we have been growing up and prospering over the years. What a great gift for such a wonderful, sweet, kind, and benevolent woman. Then my mommy and I spent some quality time together, wrapped up in our cozy living room couch, herbal tea in hand, and fine pieces of literature for our eyes, our ears, and our souls to feast upon. Mommy and I would read a couple of pages and then share our favorite passages and bask in each other's company. What a great day, full of love and quality time for my mommy, my Grammy, and me. Oh yes, and to all you mommies out there, happy Mommy's Day. And remember children, to show your appreciation for your mommies on this her special day. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bump Buddy Boo. Well, yesterday, as I was leaving my science class and heading down the stairs, I noticed my mind was wandering to my next class, in which I was uber excited for because today was the day that I would give my oral presentation. When all of a sudden, boom, bam, boom, 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 bam, boom, diddy, boom, I was falling down the stairs and falling very hard at that. My books that were tightly secured into my hands were now spread all over the staircase, and one child even kicked my binder all the way down to the base of the stairs. Although I am sure that this was just a simple mistake, I was still very upset and on the verge of tears. This was for several reasons. One, this binder was very important to me, and it was organized into m many tabs. For example, tests, quizzes, handouts, notes, and blank paper. And now, inside of those tabs, there were all the handouts or that I had gotten back in order from the earliest date to the most recent and all those sheets of paper were now spread all over the floor and it just and my organizational scheme was just totally ruined it took me an entire hour once i got home from school to reorganize it number two i have a very small contusion on my left knee now which is painful to the touch and aches slightly when I walk. But besides that, 
I am just very embarrassed. And everyone was laughing at me, and it just wasn't a fun experience. I am also very scared that by my carelessness, I might have made a student late to their next class. Boy, oh boy, oh boysy, if this happened, I would feel so guilty. I just hope it didn't. Well, next week when I'm climbing up and down the stairs, I'll be sure to be much more careful. I can tell you that. So long for now. Hello, my name's Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Well, remember a while back when my Pop Pop was encouraging me to join a youth chess league? Well, I looked into the issue, and there, there are zero youth chess leagues in my area. So I decided to take the matter into my own hands. And I started a chess club at my school. Well, when I started this chess club, I did not know that there are so few fans of chess nowadays. It seems so strange to me that while all the other sports are becoming more popular and have more players, chess is losing players. It's almost paradoxical. Well, anyway, I hung up flyers all around the school. And last Wednesday, which was our first meeting, nobody showed up. So I had to play with myself, which is much less fun than having someone to play against. But today, somebody showed up. It was so exciting. So we planned our first match for next Wednesday during lunch. I hope tons of kids come out and cheer us on. I'm so excited. Ta-ta for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Well, remember last week when I told you that the chess club was going to hold its first match this Wednesday? But guess what? It happened at lunch. The chess club held its first match, and it was uber exciting. I played this boy named Jimmy, and I won. However, there was a downside to the match. I had hung up signs like these all over school, encouraging children to come and show their support for the chess club. But no one, and I mean no one, showed up. It was just me and Jimmy sitting there, playing the royal game, the world's greatest sport, alone. No one observing, cheering us on, doing the wave, chanting, holding signs with our names on it. None of that. I found it very rude and extraordinarily discouraging. I guess it just means my publicity was not effective enough. I guess next time I should probably post an article in the school newspaper and also make an announcement over the PA system. Then I am sure people will show up. Unfortunately, they missed a nail-biter of a match. It was incredibly exciting. Oh well, there's always next time. Go Chess Club! Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. I have to keep this snappy, but I have to tell you this really quick story. So a couple of days ago, my mommy told me that my cousin, Tom, and his friend we're going to spend the weekend with us. It was the greatest news ever. I was uber excited. We would play chess, reenact elven wars, and frolic and play in the woods. However, a couple of minutes ago, his, him, him and his friend got here. And his friend was a girl. He brought a, his girlfriend. And they hold hands and put their arms around each other and all of that disgusting stuff. Yuck, 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 yuck. It's so gross. 
I can't believe my mommy didn't tell me he was going to bring this Victoria girl. Yuck! Now it's just going to be re a really awkward stay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boysy. We won't be able to play any fun games or anything. Well, I have to go hang out with them now. And I hope that they both like chess. Well, so long for now. Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bum Biddy Boo. I have come to chat with you today about American Independence Day. A day which should fill us with pride and joy. A day which should fill us with love and admiration for our beautiful nation, the United States of America. However, on this glorious day, I found myself becoming disappointed in the inhabitants of this, our lovely nation. I had my heart set on having a lemonade stand on July 4th. It was sure to be a great success with the combination of the holiday traffic and also everyone being off work. I had drawn up business plans and also created signs that stated what would be sold. I even made a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet which planned the economics of my endeavor. However, when I went to my mommy to talk to her about the plan, using her typical clear-headed intelligence and her ability to view the situation from all angles. She told me that I would not be able to have the lemonade stand for safety reasons. After the initial heartbreak of having my dream shattered, I realized what a great point she had made. The 4th of July has become a truly dangerous holiday in the United States. A holiday which encourages and even embraces dangerous, potentially life-threatening activities. A holiday which encourages families to be out of doors while beers fill the cooler and bombs fill the air. Adults drink far too much and our own local governments fire off rockets into the air and as, and as if that wasn't bad enough, our grocery stores are selling these so-called safe, legal fireworks to the general public. Tell me that there not, have not been injuries and maybe even fatalities as children shoot off these dangerous items into the air. Tell me that the combination of alcohol and these legal bombs is not a dangerous one. Our holiday has gotten out of hand. Our society is engaging itself in these dangerous activities. And it is becoming a day which we all must fear our own safety fear for our own safety and well-being. My fellow Americans, let us come up with a better way to celebrate our nation's independence. A way that better represents the positive aspects of our nation and does not highlight its weaknesses. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bomb Biddy Boo. Guess what? I just got off the phone with my Grammy, and she told me that I'm going to go to the zoo with her tomorrow. Isn't that the greatest news ever? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boysy! I am just so uberty duperty excited. I just can't wait. So right when I got off the phone with my Grammy, I went onto the zoo website and began planning out a detailed itinerary of where I would visit. I am a little disappointed that my local zoo does not have an exhibit on the elves. So I decided that I will spend an extended period of time at the eels exhibit with my beautiful Grammy. I don't think I ever told you, but eels are my favorite animal ever. I love them because when eels are young, they are also known as elvers, in honor of the great elven race. Many people think eels are ugly, but I think they're swell, and my mommy always tells me that you should never, ever ostracize against a person or animal just because they're ugly. I just wish I could take one of the eels 
from the zoo and put it in a gigantic tank in my room and give it as much love as I possibly can. But I should leave it at the zoo because it has a ton of friends there. So anyway, now I have a detailed itinerary of where me and my wonderful Grammy will be going tomorrow. I just can't wait. I already planned out an outfit that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. Since I don't want to waste any time planning an outfit in the morning. Because every minute at the zoo will be very valuable. So here's my outfit. I hope you're all enjoying your summers. I know I certainly am. Hags! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas to all! Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo! First off, I hope everybody is sharing this great holiday with all their loved ones and families. I know I certainly am. And now, I would like to tell you the story of why I have not been on YouTube for such a long time. And I warn you, it is very, it is still a very emotional topic for me. It all started the first week of school this year. I had a mathematics pop quiz, and I received an 85 on it. An 85 out of 100, and I just thought that that was totally unacceptable for myself. And I decided, because of my poor perform performance, that I should punish myself somehow for it. Because an 85 is not a good way to start your high school academic report. So I did what everyone else would have done in the, the same situation. I grounded myself. And by grounding myself, I banned myself from using the internet for anything other than academic based things. So YouTube was out of the question, and I had to discontinue my blog, vlog before, until I could come back. And I decided that today, Christmas Day, as a present to myself, I would allow myself to continue my vlog. And boy, oh boy, oh boysy, I'll tell you, it is a fantastic feeling. Well anyway, back to Christmas. The festivities are just beginning around here, and I must tell you, I am very excited to go see my Grammy and Pop Pops and open all the presents at their house. But when I awoke this morning, I looked in my stocking and I saw it full of the regular goodies, but I also got a pair of Christmas socks. I always wanted a pair, and I finally can say that I have one, and now I can show my Christmas spirit all over my body. Well, here they are. Merry Christmas toes they are. <laughs> well, anyway, I have to go now. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. <laughs> Hello, my name's Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Well, anyway, as we all know, this is the season of giving, but along with all that giving also comes a tremendous amount of waste. And this waste is mainly in the form of wrapping paper. Each year, tons upon tons of wrapping paper is thrown out after only one single use. And in my opinion, this is just ridiculous. We cannot be doing this at this day and time. I know many of you also must be worrying about this a lot, but my mommy has come up with a plan that saves you from using any wrapping paper at all. We use reusable gift bags, but remember no, you cannot use any tissue paper because tissue paper is very wasteful. You can also use just regular shopping bags. However, I do not recommend using regular shopping bags because now many major stores are coming out with environmentally friendly shopping bags and I would much rather you using those. 
Well, anyway, they do not only save a bundle load of wrapping paper, but they also look great under the Christmas tree because they all are in the because they all have great red and green and such great colors, and it really adds to the Christmas spirit. Well, anyway, me and my family have been using this idea for the past two years, and I must tell you, it has been absolutely fantastic. And our carbon footprint has been shrinking so much. Well, guys, I have to go. Ta-ta for now. Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Biddy Boo. Well, as you all know, today is the last day of 2008. It is New Year's Eve, and by golly gee whiz, does time certainly fly. Well, it's been a great year in my opinion. And if you remember, last year I set three resolutions I wanted to work on this year. Today, I will review how each of those re re resolutions went. Well, here goes nothing. Number one, reorganize my computer filing system. And I must admit, this is quite the success story. On January 2nd, 2008, I redid my computer filing system completely. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boysy, is this baby user friendly. Every document on my computer can be accessed within a, within a few clicks and I must admit it's helped me get much better and much more organized. Number two, practice French horn more. I created a practice chart so I knew exactly how much I practice each, each piece so when the weekend rolls around I know how long I have to practice and it has completely revolutionized my French horn skills, and not to be immodest, but I've became a great French hornist. And lastly, but definitely not least, become a better son to my wonderful, beautiful mommy. And this one is the hardest thing to judge. Although I've tried so hard to be nicer, more friendly to my beautiful mommy, I don't, I, I don't know if it's been enough. I want to be the perfect son, so I will still have to work on this in 2009. Well, all in all, it has been a great year for me, and I hope that that continues into 2009. Well, anyway, I have to go to bed soon, because my mommy told me I need to get at least nine hours of sleep tonight. Otherwise, it, I, may, I may not grow as tall as I should. Well, anyway, guys... Have fun tonight, and remember, stay safe, and don't go too crazy. Bye! Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Biddy Boo. Well, I know you've been anticipating my new, my new three New Year's resolutions, so here they are. Number one. Be a better son to my wonderful mommy. This one stays on the list because my mommy can, will always deserve better. Number two, spend more time creating poetry and working at interpretive dancing. My last real poem and interpretive dance was an ode to the sun, which was way over a year ago. So this year I've decided to spend much more time on it and I will be I'll begin making new videos of my interpretive dancing starting very soon when I make progress you will see it on my vlog number three improve at Bikram yoga as I said me and my mommy have been taking Bikram yoga classes I love Bikram yoga it is a great workout that, that helps you build muscle strength and also improves your mind so I have to work very, very hard at it this year, and I hope to excel in it. It will help me not only physically, but also mentally. Well, cheers to a happy, merry New Year's to you, my wonderful listeners. So long for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy. 
Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bombity Boo. As you probably know, I have now been back at school for one week. And although I loved spending quality time with my mommy at my house, it was absolutely fantastic to be back at school. Mainly because of my history teacher. He's just such a kind and loving man. I adore his teaching style and his class. Now I am especially excited to go to his class every day because we are starting a new unit and it's on ancient India. I have always been fascinated by the ancient Indian culture and religions, mainly because I think the elves played a large role in it. Although they never talk about it at school, I am going to have a discussion with my teacher to see if it can be added, a little section on the elves can be added to the curriculum. Well, we'll see. I must be going. Ta-ta for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. Well, I have to tell you all some very bad news. When I woke up this morning, I noticed that I woke up 3.70 minutes late. And I knew that I could not make up that amount of time. And I could not take any time out of my toothbrush routine. So I figured that I'd just have to try and get changed very quickly. However, when I got downstairs in the morning, I noticed that I was right on time. And I had time to prepare for school and everything. I was quite shocked. I did not know how I could have made up that much time. I figured I just must have combed my hair much quicker than normally. But when I got home, I realized why I had made up that time. When I walked into the bedroom, there was quite a shock waiting for me. I left my bed unmade. If you know me, you know that I never, ever, 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 ever forget to make my bed. I was so disappointed in myself. However, I was a little happy that my mommy did not find my bed unmade and had to make it for me. Because if she did, I would find that extremely rude and disrespectful to her. Well, anyway, I guess I'm going to have to try a little harder to always remember to make my bed in the morning, even if I am running late. Well, so long. Happy Fourth of July! Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bombadie Boo. I know yet again. I've not been dedicating enough time to my vlog. However, today I created a new interpretive dance and poem routine. I think that it is great. I hope this is the climax, the outpouring of all my creative juices since my last interpretive dancing video, which was over a year ago. Well, anyway, this poem is in the format of an English sonnet. And I really like it, and I hope you like it as much as me. Again, Happy Fourth of July! I hope you all celebrate it carefully and wisely. Well, here goes nothing. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, so, so many years before today, our founding fathers, with their signatures, sculpted the greatest nation, as some say. One that to this day, still grows and matures. This our home, this our country that we love, which we all celebrate July the 4th. The men who made us completely free of British tyranny, which reigned south and north. Free from this, we join together in bliss to honor all those who came before us. But we do not just sit and reminisce. We look to the future as we discuss the bright prospects 
of our nation so dear, which must proceed with strength and lacking fear. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bombity Boo. I know what you must be thinking. What on earth happened to his hair? Well, let me tell you. It is a big change. However, there is quite a story behind this. Now, it all started last weekend. Actually, one week from this very day. I was enjoying my Bikram yoga class like I normally do. As you all probably know, I do attend bi-weekly Bikram yoga classes. And when the school is not in session in the summertime, I attend Bikram yoga classes three to four times a week. I just get so much enjoyment out of it. Well, I was in Bikram yoga class like always. And I began to realize I was getting very hot and sweaty. And my mommy noticed this too. And it's just not like me. So I was like, it must be my hair. And this sweat was dripping down from my forehead and into my eyes and creating a burning sensation. It was just not at fun at all. I know, I know, Bikram yoga class is supposed to be hot and sticky. But it's not supposed to be like this. This was just too hot and too sweaty. And it just wasn't fun. And I was just not getting enjoyment out of it. Although the heat normally does stimulate every joint, muscle, and organ in my entire body, due to the sweat draining into my eyes, I just could not get any enjoyment. And I could not either even concentrate on the routines or the moves that I was supposed to complete. It was just dreadful. And, I mean, everyone in the class began to notice that I began to fall behind, and I wasn't my normal self. After the class, my wonderful mommy and I decided, you know what, a trip to the local salon would not hurt me. So we went down to the local salon and asked the lady there for a little trim. The lady asked for no further clarification. I went down and sat in the seat, and next thing I know, she shaved my entire head. I was like, I was quite shocked. And my mommy and I were just amazed at what this lady had done. In the future, my mommy and I will definitely have to clarify a little more clearly. Because this new haircut is just far too short. It's all spiky, and I can't even part it or do anything. I try and do my normal middle part, but it just won't work out. I've put so much gel into it, and it just still stays the same. I do not like it one bit. I will have to be sure to make sure my instructions are much, much more clearly next time I go to the salon. Well, it will grow back eventually, I guess. Ta-ta for now! Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bomb Pretty Boo. Now before I begin, I will say that I will be whispering during this vlog because my beautiful, wonderful mommy is sleeping in the next room over. I do not want to wake her. She has a bad headache because of sun exposure today. Hopefully by the time she wakes up, it will be all better. Now, today, my wonderful mommy took me to the local pool. I do always need to take the normal precautions. For instance, put 70 SPF sunblock all over my body. Even on areas that I do not think will become exposed, just in case an accidental exposure does occur. I also place physical blocker, like zinc oxide, on especially vulnerable parts of your body. For instance, the bridge of your nose. This can become very sunburned quickly, and this, and this sunburn can cause melanoma. Next, I always wear a visor 
and usher at the pool at all times. And finally, I drink lots and lots of fluids to avoid dehydration. I reapply my 70 SPF sunscreen every one half hour. Regardless of all these precautions that I took, I almost made a potentially fatal error today when I was swimming in the pool. I must admit, I love swimming, and I especially excel in the breaststroke. However, today, I somehow wandered off into the deep end of the swimming pool. I am only 15 years old, and although I do swim regularly in the summertime, I do not swim all year round, so therefore my mommy limits me to only the shallow end. So I began to wander off into the deep end, and I don't know what on earth went, was going through my mind. I always think to myself, only swim where your feet can touch the ground. And I try and obey the old rule at all times. But for some reason today, I just got a bit carried away and I was at the other end of the pool, in the deep end. So, my mommy saw me and started to panic. She told me to get out of the pool immediately. Once I got out of the pool, she gave me a 20 minute timeout where I could not go back into the pool and just had to sit on the deck on the side of the pool and wait. It was not too it was not fun at all and it also limited some very valuable bonding time between me and my beautiful mommy. I will be sure that I will not make this mistake again and I've definitely learned from it. Well, it's no use taking unnecessary risks and putting my life in danger and also worrying my beautiful mommy. Okay, that's all for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bombity Boo. Now I am having a couple of nasal problems today, so I'm going to try and keep this vlog very snappy. Now my mommy loves all my school photos, and she always tries to dress me to look very sharp. And yesterday was my school's photo day. So I am always trying to pleasure my mommy, so I always give the photographer a very broad smile. But I found, found this very hard yesterday. This is because I find it absolutely preposterous that my school makes me miss an academic course each year to get my photo taken. This has now been three years in a row that I have had to miss my mathematics course. Now I love math mathematics. And does my school understand that we only have a certain amount of days in each school year? Does my school understand that missing one day of math each year can have a, a negative long-term effect on my mathematical abilities? Now I know I am ranting, but I just hate how I have to miss a, an academic course for just my darn picture to be taken. I would much rather go into school on a day off or a weekend to get my picture taken. Ta-ta for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. Today, my mommy and I were driving to the local grocery store to buy silken tofu and radishes. My mommy is quite the renowned culinary expert in these parts. However, I will save that for a later vlog. As we were driving in our car, we decided to turn on the radio and tune into NPR, National Public Radio. However, we must have made a mistake when we were trying, trying to change the channel because somehow we got tuned into a so-called Yiller music station. I later discovered that the song we were listening to when we tuned in was Love Game by a new artist called Lady Gaga. Now I found some parts of this song very complicated 
And this is mainly because of Lady Gaga's use of grammatical constructs. However, I found most parts quite interesting and almost touching. For instance, this part in the middle of the song. I'm on a mission, and it involves some heavy touching. Yeah. She's telling her listeners that she really wants to tell them a message. And she continues. You've indicated your interest. I'm educated in sex. Yes. And now I want it bad. Want it bad. Here Lady Gaga is using her fame to draw attention to the, to the importance of sexual education in the public school system. While her choice of syntax does slightly obscure her message, a careful, list, a careful listener like myself can, pick on, can clearly detect her meaning and pick up on it very easily. When I researched further, I learned that this is quite the common motif in many popular music songs, including Sexy Back by Mr. Justin Timberlake a song which encourages schools to bring back sexual education into the curriculum. In the song Sexy Back, Mr. Timberlake says, I'm bringing sexy back. You other boys just don't know how to act. This states that he wants to bring back sexual education because kids these days just don't know how to act and how to con conduct themselves. I know that my choice of vlog today was rather risque, and indeed it was, and I apologize profusely if I have made any of you the slightest bit uncomfortable. However, I just really want to uh, tell you that I did misjudge this so-called popular music, and I want to recognize my error. And the real value of the words these pop popular music singers do have. I also found, while researching, Mr. Justin Timberlake found that he was part of a group called N Asterisk S Y N C, whose music I have discovered that I do quite fancy, and it is very enjoyable. Well, until later. Bye, 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 bye. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bon Well, if it isn't the end of yet another decade, <laughs> and quite the decade it has been, I hope that tomorrow is the beginning of yet another glorious year for each and every one of you. Well, I'm sorry for the lack of my Christmas message to you all. As always, I spent my holidays at my Grammy and Pop Pop's house. However, I spent it a little differently this year than I do most years. This year, in honor of a new decade, and also my Grammy and Pop Pop's 50th wedding anniversary, I decided to maybe have a little blast from the past and pretend that we were living in the 1950s again, which was very close to when my Grammy and Pop Pops met. That means no electronics. It was quite a fun time. However, I was with my cousins, and they did struggle with this quite a bit. I caught them taking a sneak peek at their iPhones and whatnot to check up on their email. <laughs> it was quite funny. But nonetheless, it was a great challenge for every one of us. And this means that I couldn't go and make a new vlog. However, this led to more time sitting around the fireplace, relaxing, having my Grammy and Pop Pops tell us the wonderful stories of their childhood 
and when they first met and their blossoming relationship. We also were able to read stories around the fireplace and just relax and enjoy our relationships and our f beautiful family. Well, now I am back home and I just arrived home yesterday. And I decided in honor of the new year that I thought it would be a, quite a blast to perform Auld Lang Syne for you. I will be doing a little interpretive dancing along with it. Well, enjoy your New Year's, be safe, and here goes nothing. December the 31st, such a fateful night, when one whole year comes to an end, when the clock strikes 12. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my friends, for old Yet for old lang syne, should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? Hello. My name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Bill. I hope you all enjoyed your New Year's. This year for me, it was just a nice quiet day alone with my wonderful mom. I think it was great to really just be alone and come together in celebration of the new decade. We snuggled together on the couch watching the lovely film Enchanted. The relationship between Giselle, played by the sweet Amy Adams, and Robert, played by Patrick Dempsey, was quite touching. While, while me and my mommy were sipping on our eggnogs, hers had the special ingredient, of course, <laughs> just a tad for, for taste, <laughs> I realized I had to post my three New Year's resolutions. Well, here they are. Number one, join one of my school's dance troops. I know I've got the moves, <laughs> but I just spend most of my time performing in the pit on my French horn. I really want to have the spotlight on me and all eyes on me dancing and just me on the stage getting my groove on. <laughs> Number two, perfect the Gandu, Ganda Baron Sanza, a.k.a. Scorpion's tail pose. It is quite the difficult yoga pose, but I really think with hard, F, hard work I can perfect it. I will also need to improve on my stretching routine to give me a higher chance of perfecting it. Number three, be invited to my first sleepover ever. This is the first year my mommy has given me the go-ahead for going to sleepovers. However, there's only one problem. The invite. I will have to work on making a good enough friend. Hopefully one day this year, I'll enjoy a wonderful sleepover with a good buddy. Well, that's all. I hope you all can hold your resolutions. And I hope... I also keep all of my resolutions. And I wish you the best of luck and hope that this year is a very productive one. Well, that's all for now. Ta-ta for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bombity Bill. I'm sure many of you went back to school on Monday. I did as well. 
we're just putting our noses back to the grindstone, as they say. I thought it was going to be a fantastic first week back at school, but it seems like I've come down with some sort of cold. I just feel really, really off today. I'm lacking my normal vigor and passion. In my humble opinion, it's nearly impossible to not get sick at these schools these days. At least a few times a year, in fact. I mean, children come into school seriously, seriously ill. They're coughing and sneezing all over their hands touching the cafeteria tables, which is the same cafeteria table that I need to eat at. There's germs all over it. Then they just touch the door knob. Am I the only person that keeps hand sanitizer in their locker? Am I the only person that opens the door with his sleeve instead of his bare hand? I take all these precautions, and here I am bundled up with a terrible case of the chills in my PJs bathrobe, and towel, and blanket. By the way, I'd like to thank my mommy for this delicious herbal tea. Nothing rejuvenates the soul and body more after a tough, hard day at the job than herbal tea. Hopefully this will lead me on, a, on the quick road to recovery. Well, anyway, this week wasn't entirely bad. For example, on Monday, I went into my history class, and out of the corner of my eye, I spotted this new boy. I was wondering who this new fellow was, and my questions became answers when my teacher came into the room. The new boy happens to be named Cecil, and he just moved here from California. How exciting! And it turns out he seems to be a very nice kid. I had hung up chess club posters all over my classroom, hoping that the new year would bring new members to the chess club. The poster says, Chess Club, join today and rejuvenate the great forgotten sport. Unfortunately, because of a scheduling conflict, the only other member of the chess club was forced to quit. So that left me searching for a new member. And it just so happens that Cecil saw the poster. He expressed immediately, immediate interest in the club. And he's planning on going to the first meeting next week. I'm so excited. I just put the poster up on impulse, and it seems to be an act of faith. Well, maybe I'll have a couple of good games of chess with this new boy, Cecil. And maybe also, this new boy will prove to be my new best friend. Well, I'll keep you updated. So long for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bomb Pretty Bill. Well, I know it's been a while since I've last vlogged, and I know it's been even longer since I've last talked about the French horn. However, today, in band class, something great happened about with the French horn. As I was going into band class, the, the band director told me to stick around and talk to him after class. And oh gosh, did I get nervous? You know how it is. The litter butterflies start to flap their wings and create quite a hullabaloo in my little tummy. I start replaying the last few rehearsals in my head to see what I've done wrong. I love my band, and I love my band director, and I 
certainly hadn't done anything on purpose to infuriate this nice young man. I did know, I do know that I was a little bit out of tune in the first few measures of my, of a song a couple of rehearsals ago. However, I licked it up in the latter part of the song and really got my act together. But lucky me, at the end of class, my band director told me that he was pulling me aside to, uh, with an offer. Our next concert, we are going to be performing a variety of Disney songs, which should be a real crowd pleaser and also real fun for the players. One of the songs in the concert is called Reflections from the lovely movie Mulan. And the director was offering me a solo in this piece. Oh, boysy, was I excited. Now, as he and I both know, the solo is a little bit boring. So he has given me permission to jazz it up a little bit. I'll re I will be redesigning it from now till a couple days from now when I will need to begin to practice. First, I will be beginning to redesign the solo to better portray the struggles of Mulan. Now the concert is only two months away, which doesn't give me a lot of time. However, with a strong practice routine, I am sure that I will be able to get the solo ready in time. I'll begin by watching Mulan and better to better understand the emotion that Mulan goes through this entire movie. And then I will go through the solo measure by measure, redesigning it. And then obviously, I will begin to practice the solo. I'll be dedicating two to three hours a day, first rewriting and then practicing the solo. I had also been working on a new interpretive poem and dance for you guys. However, the rhyme scheme in the last stanza has been giving me quite some trouble. So I will be, need to be, be delaying this, so I'll be delaying this project for a couple of weeks so I can pursue perfection in this Mulan solo. Well, that's all for now. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bum Buddy Boo. I know I have gone through a lot of changes recently. And my mommy has been very supportive with all of these changes that been have that have been happening in my life. I've just not really been able to come to terms with all of them. And I did not want to come out on YouTube with them. A couple of weeks ago, I discovered and struggled with the fact that I am an IVF baby, in layman's terms, a test tube baby from an anonymous sperm donor. No, not like these sperm whales on my tie, but the bodily fluid. Search the word on Google or ask your mommies if you don't know what it means. I'm sure they'll be glad to tell you. I know mine certainly was. Well, anyway, it's just very painful. The most painful part about it is that there may be tens, hundreds, thousands of other Jeremy Frederick Wilsons running around the planet, all of us, not knowing the others exist and struggling with the pain of discovering that we were not created by a normal, hot and steamy coupling of lovers. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bumpity Boo. 
Well, as I am sure you are all aware, it is now summertime. The season where the nation's families venture off on wonderful journeys we call vacations. My mom, marvelous mommy and I are about to frolic off on one of our very own. We are journeying to our cousin's house in a land far, far away. While I'm not the biggest fan of these cousins, my mommy is at a rough part in her life where she could really use the love of her one and only sister. The girls, only a year apart in age, grew up the closest of friends. In fact, they were such besties that they decided to be pregnancy buddies. My cousin, Brad, and I were conceived the very same week, although my cousin was conceived in a more normal fashion. They went through the entire pregnancy together, and they both had natural water births by the wonderful sweet soul who is now the midwife of our county. Briefly after Brad's birth, however, a twist of fate sent my aunt, uncle, and cousins far away from here. In retrospect, the move was probably a blessing in disguise, because I've heard many stories about Brad, and I think he would only ha have had a negative influence on me. He takes part in very bad activities, and he is a very naughty little boy. He illegally downloads explicit hip-hop tracks, and he also drinks excessive amounts of Coca-Cola while his Again, while his mommy tells him not to. These types of activities I just cannot stand. And me and my cousin, Brad, are not the best of friends. Although my mommy and her one and only si um, sister are kindred spirits, me and Brad struggle to see eye to eye on any issue and struggle to hold civil conversations. But my mommy is uber excited for this trip to see her one and only sister. So of course, I am nothing but supportive of the journey. For me, the best part of the trip will be the 16 hour car ride to see our cousins. Can you imagine 32 hours of uninterrupted quality time with my mommy? Wow, we have decided to break down the journey into two eight hour segments. We will embark on the first leg tomorrow. Our bags are packed and we are ready to go. My mommy has made a mixed cassette tape full of classic tunes from the 60s. And she's also packed a cooler full of yogurt and honey from our local farmer's market, along with some trail mix composed of raw nuts, prunes, figs, and some cherries. We dried ourselves. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. It will surely be a journey to remember, even if the stay with my cousins is less than ideal. Well, folks, see you on the flip side. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but you can just call me Bum Betty Boo. I hope you're all preparing for the spookiest day of the year. I love Halloween. It's just such a barrel load of fun. As you know, in the past, I've dressed up as an elf. I planned on making some changes to my classic elf costume this year as a demonstration of my deep respect for the elven race. But yesterday, my mommy came up to me with a brand new idea. This year for Halloween, I will be Bombetty Boo. Get it? It's going to be a ghost costume. My mommy is just so clever. So this morning, we woke up super duper early, did our normal invigorating yoga routine, which we do on basically every Sunday morning, and then got out the sewing machine, and we started working on my costume. All morning long, we've been listening to Monster Mash and other spooky songs and designing the costume because it just can't be any ghost costume, you see. It needs to be Bum Buddy Boo. 
So we made my costume um, outlined in lime green fabric because that is my favorite color. Now we're cutting out arm signs because I love yoga and French horn and chess pieces in different colors and covering the costume with glitter and sewing them all over the place because these are a few of my favorite things. It's just so swell. I'm uber duper excited to wear my costume to school tomorrow. I thought it would probably be against the rules to wear my costume to school on Friday because it is a little bit too far away from Halloween since Halloween is today. So I'm just going to wear it tomorrow. However, I did see some other children wearing their costume on Fridays. I'm getting a quick break from designing my costume while my mommy is making some treats for the local children who will be stopping by to go trick-or-treating very soon. Now, my mommy is making some yummy vegan cupcakes. We're going to give them out to all the trick-or-treaters. -tre See, it's a healthy variation of a tasty treat. And we're just going to demonstrate that homemade food can, can be trick-or-treating candy. I see all these people giving out unhealthy snacks with probably around 200 calories per parcel. So now my mommy and I are going to give out these healthy treats, which hopefully everyone will enjoy. And I hope the parents of the children will also be very happy. Now, my mommy and I will be trick-or-treating from 5 to 7 p.m. tonight before it gets too dark and also because of safety concerns. And then we'll be handing out the cupcakes to everyone that stops by. I hope you all have a safe, spooky, and happy Halloween!